out here enjoying the air temperature and the smells and sights. The air is really good right now. It just has that nice crisp feel to it. It's a little bit cool so that it's not unbearably hot as I drone along here. I have yet to get up into the mountains. So that's a little bit disappointing. I've been wanting to get up into the mountains and uh, off to my left here is where they really begin. I am unarmed and that's one thing that I'm not really comfortable with when I'm in these kinds of areas. There are grizzly bears, there are moose, deer, elk, wolves, cats. There's all kinds of stuff up here and people do disappear. Uh, a lot of people are of the opinion that because they haven't been caught by an animal yet that they won't ever be caught and uh, actually I've heard people say that about dirt biking and how uncommon it is to get attacked when you're on a dirt bike the problem is you can have mechanical failures or you could very easily on a dirt bike get injured and that's when the animals come out in fact black bears will do the same thing. Black bears are everywhere where I ride. And they'll come out and they'll just eat you. And there's lots of national park mysteries where you know people just disappear. There was one I was watching where their friend was like 20 feet or 30 feet behind them on this trail and they just looked back and they were gone and never to be seen again. And there are countless instances that are like that and that to me sounds like a big cat a cat you know it won't give you a chance to really say anything scream out for help or anything like that whereas a bear would probably make a lot of noise same with wolves but uh, a cat's pretty efficient at uh, killing some prey a cat will actually jump and grab you by the neck so you won't be able to do anything and especially the stuff that we don't have here, those tigers, like the Siberian tigers, they will just snatch you right up and you'll be dead in like a couple seconds. I was watching this video of uh, this Asian girl who had, I don't know where she was at, it was a jungly area, but she had gotten out of her car to take pictures and there is a security camera right there. She got out of her, out of her car she was right in front of her door and a Siberian tiger came out and just snatched her up. She looked like a stuffed animal. I mean, it was so fast and it just drug her right into the jungle and she was gone just like that. And it, she was in a line of traffic when that happened. Other people got out of their cars and were trying to help, but like there's nothing they could do. She's just a goner. And the same thing can and will happen to you in Idaho if you're not careful. Well, there have been lots of people disappear here and it's not aliens, at least it's not in my opinion aliens, it's probably some pretty nasty animals that are hungry. So yeah, I'm, I'm not armed right now and I don't feel comfortable with that. One thing I love about Idaho is that we're a constitution carry state, which means that I can carry however I want, whenever I want, and I can go wherever pretty much. And uh, as Americans, we should always choose liberty over safety. So a lot of people have issues with uh, constitution carry states. And I'd say, you know, that's what the United States is all about. That's in our constitution. That's why it's called constitution carry. Uh, you should be able to carry whatever you want, whenever you want. And I'm not saying if you're full-blown, you know, violent or a criminal, if you have some kind of past, you should be able to do that. But I am saying that we have to default to freedom as opposed to defaulting to safety because the safest place on earth is uh, in prison. And if you want to develop society to where you are eventually just in prison, you want a cage, you want to be fed three meals a day, and all of your movements controlled, all of your movements known about, then that's what you get. You're safe, but you're in prison. And the United States is opposite of that. We are 
always supposed to stay wild. This is getting really pretty already. That looked like a pretty solid path to me, in fact, it was. Beauty of having a map right on your phone like this. Wow, this soil is nice. This is a beautiful area. Got super heavy duty tubes in these tires, so I really hope these will hold up. I've already gone through some cacti and they've held up so far. Of course, I don't think the tubes will hold up against cacti, but I do have some pretty new tires as well. I just saw some wild animals back here. That's a white bear, that's a polar bear. But there's actually two of those. His buddy's off in the woods right here. So there's bipolar bears, because there's two of them. I've never seen bipolar bears before. I've been through Yellowstone before. I've seen some wild stuff in here. Granted, I'm not in Yellowstone, but this is Yellowstone's neighbor. So it does make me a little bit nervous to be in here without a gun because there are so many different animals. This is a really nice trail to hit on the old DRZ. I'm not much of a dirt road goer, but a nice little four-wheeler trail like this isn't too bad. It offers some pretty good scenery still. The difference between this and a dirt road is this feels like you're actually in the, the outdoors. A, a dirt road really doesn't. It feels too developed. And they generally take you to really well-traveled areas, whereas this is much more undeveloped and there's there, there are going to be more wild wildlife here. More of the wild type <laughs> instead of just cows. I mean wild bears. Those aren't cows, they're wild bears. Ambient temperature is very nice. General conditions right here are very nice. This trail goes all the way up into the mountains here. And it goes further than I will be able to go today. But it's good to know that this exists because I'll be back. One spot where the, uh, well, there are many spots where a four-wheeler has the advantage, but one that is very evident is rock gardens. When there's a rock garden, you have uh, three steps to take when you're on a four-wheeler to get through it, and that is uh, push the throttle button, and then push, keep pushing the throttle button, and then when you're almost through, you just keep you just keep pushing the throttle button until you're out. Those are the three steps. Whereas on a dirt bike, every little change in direction on your bike, you have to counter with the, you have to counterbalance with your body and counter steer as well. And so you have to get back on the bike. You have to slide your butt back to de-weight the front end to get it over some of the rocks. And then every time you're hit sideways, you gotta counter that with, uh, with your weight, and you have to keep balancing your bike all the way through, all the while monitoring your traction with your clutch because you have to monitor that for a proper balance and traction. And so, yeah, a, a motorcycle, a dirt bike is a little bit more difficult to ride. <laughs> And a lot more rewarding, though. I mean, it's uh, it's 
that's the difference between cruising the highway and hiking, really. Um, granted, you know, a four-wheeler can get you into places like this, and this feels like a, a pretty backwoodsy trail. It feels like you're out in the wilderness. It feels like you're in the wild. And that's really your goal. You want to get out and explore on the bike and feel like you're covering some distance. I just saw a little chipmunk running for his life. So these cows that are moseying around just randomly off the side of the trail, um, they are a little bit surprising to me because there are wolves. There are wolves here and these cattle are just roaming around. There's, there are no fences or anything. So you've got wolves and all kinds of predators who were lurking, waiting to just pounce on a hamburger that's just waiting to get eaten. I'm not talking about a regular buffalo that can actually like defend itself and cause you some definite harm in a fit of rage. I'm talking about man-made cows that will just sit there and be like, oh, this is my life's work. I'm glad I can assist you with your hamburger. My life's work has been to get nice and juicy. So when you are uh, carrying for self-defense from big animals, it's important to have a good round the caliber type matters a little bit, but mostly the round type, and I think that's a common error that people make. I'd be very comfortable carrying a 9mm to, to protect myself, but you have to have a penetrating round. I was trying to read the signage. The trail got a little steep there. Um, I'm kind of just going, I'm not looking at the map, which could spell disaster. Anyways, one of my favorite rounds to use, I don't usually talk about this kind of stuff, but I feel it's uh, pertinent information for those carrying. And don't blame me if you have a misfire or you die for some reason because of these rounds that I'm about to recommend because any round could misfire or you could shoot yourself on accident <laughs> but I use Lehigh Defense rounds uh, Max Penetrator and they uh, they have the same effect as a mushrooming round so you, so you want something that's going to mushroom out and well, most rounds, I'm seeing like 90%, I've seen endless testing on so many rounds. About 90% of them fail as they enter into a jacket, like a big heavy coat or a jacket. They won't mushroom in that scenario. And so you have to do your research. I use three different types of rounds. And uh, my favorite one is the Lehigh Defense Max Penetration because it never fails. It doesn't mushroom. And yet, because it hits so hard and because of the shape, it causes a gigantic hole all the way through and it penetrates uh, really, really deep into the animal that you would be shooting, like a bear or whatever, which you need. You don't want a regular self-defense round that's gonna stop you know, uh, eight inches in, because that's not where the arteries are on an animal. This is beautiful country. I think I better head back though, to be honest. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the ride as I uh, just went off on tangents, <laughs> but I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.